There is a myth in the audio community that turning up the gain on a microphone increases that microphone's sensitivity. Yeah, it drives me nuts. Let's go ahead and bust this one. So first let's start off by defining sensitivity and gain. So sensitivity is a microphone's physical ability to convert acoustic sound energy into an electrical signal. And gain is how much we amplify the signal that comes out of the microphone. And so today we're debunking the myth that adjusting the gain actually changes the sensitivity of the microphone itself. So let's break these down a little bit further. So sensitivity is a characteristic of the microphone's diaphragm and internal electronics. The sensitivity of a microphone never changes. It is a fixed property. It was built that way when it left the factory. That was the day that the microphone was the most sensitive. Hot tip, a microphone actually gets slightly less sensitive over time as your spit and saliva and dust accumulate on that diaphragm and make it a little bit less sensitive to the sound that's coming in. You can't do anything to change the sensitivity of your microphone. That's just the way the microphone is. It do be like that. That's how it is. Think of it like a super, super basic lens. The lens basically lets through a fixed amount of light based on how the lens was built. That's exactly like the sensitivity of a microphone. Now let's say that we tweak that picture in post and we make it brighter and darker in post-production. That's more like the gain. It's something that's happening in post. It's not affecting the camera itself. Sensitivity is usually a little bit of a confusing one to understand because it's represented in one of two different ways, both of which kind of go completely over my head, but there's millivolts per Pascal, or decibels relative to one volt per Pascal. What it comes down to is basically the lower the number, the less sensitive the microphone is. So what does this look like practically? Well, for most of my videos, I record with the Rode NTG3 shotgun microphone, which is a pretty sensitive microphone. Recently, I've been recording with the Loudon Audio LS208. Now the 208 requires about 15 decibels more gain than the Rode NTG3. And when I looked at the manuals online, I saw that the Rode NTG3 shotgun microphone sensitivity is this, and the Loudon Audio LS208 is this. I don't know what any of these mean because I'm not a physicist. So I popped both these numbers into ChatGPT, asked it which one is more sensitive, and it came up with this. Dang, as predicted, the shotgun microphone is more sensitive. This guy needs more gain to sound the same. All right, now we're on to gain. What is gain? Gain is the process of boosting a microphone signal after it's come out of the microphone. It's like turning up the volume on a PA system. You're turning up the volume of the song. You're making it louder. You're not changing the mix of the song in any way. It's just getting louder. You'll see it all over the place. People saying that if you turn up the gain of a microphone, it makes the microphone more sensitive. And I understand why they think this, because as you turn up the gain, you're hearing more of the surrounding sounds. You're hearing the noise, the traffic, the air conditioner, the dog barking, but you have to understand that it's bringing up everything proportionately. And that's the part that's often missed. So why does all of this actually matter? Because as you can probably tell, this is more of a semantics issue than anything. People might just be misusing the word or replacing the word gain with sensitivity because that's just the way they think of it. And that should be fine, right? Well, it's important that we understand how these tools work and what they're actually doing to our equipment so that we can get the best recordings possible. I've actually heard people say, I keep my gain as low as possible when I'm recording so you don't hear any of that background noise. And then I just boost the level in post to bring it back up to normal. And while I understand why you're doing this, this is awful, awful advice. You're gonna run into two big issues here. One, your headroom is so tiny. And two, as you bring that signal up, the noise comes with it. There is no escaping the noise in your signal. You're just gonna have a lot of hiss in your recording. So here's my practical advice to get really, really good recordings. Step one, get really, really close to your microphone, like two inches in an untreated space is gonna be great for your sound. Just make sure it's not popping or causing any plosives. If they are, you can just turn the microphone slightly off axis. Then we're gonna set our gain. So bring your gain up as you're talking into your microphone, get the levels as loud as they can go without clipping, and then you might wanna bring them back down just a little bit to something a little bit more conservative so that you don't have to stress about the levels while you're recording. That way you know you're not gonna clip, you're not gonna pop, and you're improving your signal to noise ratio. This means the signal, your voice getting into the microphone, is much louder than the noise the background noise, the keyboard, the air conditioner, the dog barking. We're just improving that signal to noise ratio as best we can. And that is the best way to get really good recordings. If there's one thing that you take away from this video, it's that gain does not affect the background noise in your recordings. It brings up all levels proportionately. Only the signal to noise ratio and the polar pattern of the microphone itself can affect that. So make sure you get nice and close to your microphone, use proper recording technique, and the background noise should be pretty manageable. So next time you tweak your audio setup, remember that you are amplifying the output signal, not changing the sensitivity of the microphone. If you feel like donating a free like down below to the channel, that would be awesome. And what other audio myths have you encountered in your career that drive you bonkers? What are they? Let me know down in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and make sure to subscribe for more audio tips and tricks. Peace.